Hello everybody, uh, Trey Ratcliffe here, and I'm here in my uh, beautiful home of New Zealand, and I wanted to give you uh, a cool tip for Aurora HDR. You know, sometimes people look at my photos, and one thing they always comment on or wonder how I do it is this kind of glow effect, right? I'm kind of standing here, this Hansel and Gretel fairy tale kind of house, and I love this kind of stuff. I love these really romantic photos that have a nice glow to them. So when we were working with the guys at, at MacFun on Aurora HDR, I forced them to put this feature in there. And so you can do it with just one simple slider. There's actually a few ways to do it. So I'll show you how I do that right now. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back here to my studio. I've got on my, my crazy hat because it was cold. It was a cold morning in New Zealand. It's the middle of summer now, but sometimes there's a little chill on the air. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to wear my hat for this demo, all right? You got to roll with it, OK? We're just going to roll with it. All right, so I've got a really fun uh, set of photos for us to work on, and this is kind of a unique glow situation, right? Sometimes you think about some of this radiance glow being um, uh, outside. This is going to be an interior shot. Here's the one we're going to work on, all right? I, I literally just took this photo a couple days ago. I just got back from Bali, and I found this cave restaurant. This is carved into a cave in the side of a mountain. Um, this is at the Ritz-Carlton in Bali. It's a really cool little restaurant. And um, yeah, I just thought it was like perfect for HDR. I love these kind of interior texture shots. And while I was in there, I was noticing how it was so glowy and warm and nice. So I thought it'd be really fun to enhance that here with Aurora HDR Pro, which happens to be right here. I'm gonna pick them in there, drop them like they're hot. Um, I don't really need to align or do ghost reduction or chromatic aberration reduction because I was on a tripod, a timer, um, but I do find that those tools do work extraordinarily well. Right, here we go. This is all real time. Everything's happening. I'm excited. I actually just got a new build of HDR Pro. This is the one that uh, came out with the, uh, the pre-order. Yes. It's telling me that I've got plugins available and Lightroom and all that stuff. Oh, I got to do all this stuff. Oh, Apple. Just trust me. Oh. I have 17 different passwords. I can barely remember any of them. Okay, here we go. So, all right, looks pretty good, right? Um, let's go look at a before, or at least the middle exposure. And now it looks like, what the what? So awesome. I haven't even moved a slider, and it already looks amaze maze. And I haven't even got to the main point of this little mini tip, which is uh, how to make a little romantic fairy tale glow. All right, so let's work on that right now. I'll press F to take it back out of full screen, all right? All right, now if we want to add the glow, there's two places to go, all right? The first area is this place called Image Radiance, all right? This is where I do most of my glowy work, all right? Uh, the second area is in a glow area that is cleverly hidden under the name Glow. Now, this area is primarily for nighttime kind of stuff, like making street lights or car lights glow. So we won't use that so much here. We'll just kind of hang out up here in the Image Radiance zone. So we're going to just jam this up to the extreme just to show you what's happening. Let's increase the smoothness and the brightness. Okay. So now if we look at a before and after, I click this little orange nipply thing, and we can see before and after. Before and after. Right on. Okay. Well, let me show you not an advanced technique. Let's just say like maybe an advanced beginner technique even. Let's say that you don't want the whole thing to glow. Maybe you just want the lights to glow, Okay, which is often what I do in my photos also. We can do that with layers, all right? So let me go ahead and just reset this, boop. And then, by the way, that was an actual human sound effect. I know, it was so good, you thought. Is that computer generated? So I'm gonna click up here on layers. Do you see this little blue thing? Now I have a layer, okay? And I'm gonna call this one Glowy McGlow Face, okay? There we go, what a great name, great name. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to increase the image radiance a lot and the smoothness a little bit and the brightness. By the way, I could also increase the warmth or the coolness of the lights, okay, in either direction. It's quite powerful. Smart colorize is kind of cool too because it will make things more intense on the lights or less intense. I'll make it a little more intense. Oh, yeah. Now, what's happened is this has done it to the entire image, right, on this new layer, but we just want to do it on parts of the image, okay? So I'm going to click the little paintbrush here, and I have my brush. By default, it's at 50%. I'm going to amp it up a little bit here to 75-ish. Okay, that should do the job. So I'm going to make some happy little lights. So now everywhere I click, 
those will glow okay these will start to be nice glowy areas every time i'm clicking i'm getting another 75 percent Ooh, let's glow that part let's glow under there oh yeah it's like a glow worm party in here man they have good food too um the name of this place is uh bajana it's really nice so i met a gal here that works at the marketing team and she goes, uh, meet me at the Pajana. And I said, oh, the, the restaurant will be fine. So we're painting around here and having fun, having fun. Oh, I like to glow the, look at that. Look at the, uh, I like to make the ground all glowy. It makes it kind of very uh, smooth and reflective and nice. Maybe smooth isn't the right word, kind of like wet looking. Gives it that wet look, right? So here, let me turn on and off the mask so you can see everywhere I painted. See that? That's everywhere I painted on the lights and on the floor. And now when I click on this orange thing, I go back and forth and you can just see how it adds that little glow in there. Isn't that nice? Very cool. And as long as we're having fun with layers, why don't we add one more layer? Uh, now I'm going off piste, okay? I'm, now I'm gonna add some more texture to a few other areas, okay? So I'm gonna make a, a new layer and I'm gonna call this um, um, Texty Mook Text man okay another great name where do i come up with these and then i'm going to increase the hdr look here okay and look it's really amping it up we're taking this thing to 11. look at this we'll do a little denoise action too a little hdr denoise so this is really where you add that kind of hdr look or not remember we could take it the other direction and really flatten out the image if we wanted to okay which is fine too but we're just going to amp it up a little bit more than normal because again we don't want to do the whole photo I just want to texturize a little bit of it so I'm gonna go up here and click on my brush all right and we're gonna take this back down to 50% opacity that means I'm not pushing through at hundred percent okay and then I'm just gonna start clicking and adding texture just to a few little areas up here in the ceiling maybe here on the table a little bit give it a little bit more wood grain maybe down here along the edge then we have this contrast of this rough, rocky area with the nice glowing lights and this kind of slick, rain-slicked um, floor here. Okay, so we can look at a before and after of that. Right, so we just have a little bit more texture up there now. Right, awesome. Okay, now let's go full screen and we'll look at a before and after, okay? Okay, once again, this is the before. This is the middle exposure. And then after just a few clicks and a little bit of fun, <laughs> we ended up with this image. Ah uh, yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tip. Um, you know, there's a whole, I made a whole tutorial on this. It's like over an hour long, every kind of condition. And uh, you get more of those great and often inappropriate jokes. Those are included for free. All right, I'll see you later, thanks. If you don't already have the new HDR software, just click there on the left. And we also have a bundle with a new tutorial in the upper right.